came and took the crown as king of video game violence, there was one game that held the throne for quite a long time. Splatterhouse was considered so violent that many arcades in the US banned the game. I guess when you have this in between Donkey Kong and Spy Hunter, I could see how you would see this is pretty violent in comparison. You play the game as Rick, who's a parapsychology major looking for his girlfriend Jennifer. You two went to a mansion, she was kidnapped, and you were knocked unconscious. But when you wake up, you got a mask on that gives you crazy abilities like punching and kicking and picking stuff up. Okay, so you don't really get anything cool in the first game, but one of your main weapons is the 2x4. This piece of wood not only splatters enemies on the back wall when you hit them, it is so badass we had to add it to the armory on screw attack. <laughs> oh my god, that guy's guts just fell out. There are so many crazy, sick, demonic enemies like zombies, some weird sewer monsters, and dogs, but my favorite was fighting the different bosses. Look at this guy, he's got chainsaws for hands, or this bloody body with mutated maggots jumping out of it. Oh man, and that final boss that attacked you with those huge mutated hands. That guy's not looking very good. Today the game's available on the virtual console, but the original port was for the TurboGrafx-16. And just to make sure mom and dad didn't cry about how violent the game was, Namco put the best warning ever on the cover. The warning actually said, the horrifying theme of this game may be inappropriate for young children. And cowards. That's like a million times better than these boring ass labels of the day. That's like saying, hey, don't be a pussy when you play this game. After a couple old school sequels, a fourth game in this series has been announced that will be coming to the Xbox 360 and the PS3. From the looks of it, it looks like the game has all the blood and gore intact, and of course, the 2x4 is back. I just really hope they don't make a movie out of the game. You suck, Mark Wahlberg.